Hello everyone, this is Prodesilaos, also known as Prod. In this video I want to talk to you about a feature of BSPWM that I have hitherto ignored. It is about receptacles. Receptacles are empty frames that function as placeholders for windows. So the way they work is that they occupy a certain area on the screen and you use uh, commands to send a window to that area at which point the, the receptacle ceases to exist the, the window um, takes its uh, stead, uh, take, takes its uh, place and the receptacle has no longer any purpose so the, um, I will show you some uh, I will show you a few examples here how the receptacles work and uh, walk you through a short script that I have written to help me work with this feature, with this feature. and I also have some key hordes as well that I have defined. Um, I just uh, changed my settings, uh, my display settings here to make it a bit easier for the demo. Let's also increase the font size a bit, a bit here. Mm, this should be enough. Yeah, everything should be visible. So, um, let's start uh, with the basics. Let's insert a receptacle so that you have an idea of, uh, of what it is. By default, receptacles are inserted the same way a, a new window is inserted, following the, the configurations for the automatic uh, tiling mode. So, whatever you, configs you have for that, receptacles will be respected and uh, behave accordingly. So the, the key hoard uh, for uh, creating a receptacle is super and then, and then the letter R. This is a key hoard chain, as I have uh, already discussed in a previous video about uh, the simple X hotkey daemon, SXHKD. So I am now creating a receptacle, and uh, here it is. This area here, that is empty, is where the receptacle exists. And I cannot select it. It is not possible to select it. I cannot move focus to that uh, position. It's just there and it is waiting for a specific command that will move a window to its uh, position. Let's uh, now create a window here, an empty terminal. Uh, le let's create a few of them actually. Let's have a few of them. And let's say now I want this one here, the blue one here. I want it to be moved to the receptacle. So the, the way I will do it is that I will press super and then, and then the letter I, and this moves the focused vi window to the position of the last available uh, receptacle. Very nice. Um, let's see, let's remove these. Uh, this works across desktops the way I have defined it. So let's say I have, a, I create a receptacle here. Let's, uh, let's increase the size of the receptacle so this whole area here is the receptacle and let's move uh, focus to the next uh, desktop so here is an empty desktop let's create some windows here I have a window here I have some others here and I will show you another feature now which also leverages um, node flags it's another uh, it's another option that BSPWM has which uh, whereby you mark a specific uh, window in order to operate on it at a later point. So let's say that this specific window here, I want to mark it. I will not bother you with a key hoard for that. I have it in my dot files. I will link to them at the end. So now I have marked this. It is denoted by the letter M in the area where node flags are uh, marked, are, uh, uh, are placed. And let's say I am uh, working on something else. I am doing some other work here. And uh, I remembered that I need to move the marked node, the marked uh, window, to the last available receptacle. So I will do just that. If I, if I press again super and then and the letter I, it should do just that. We see that it has disappeared. Let's go to desktop number one. And we see that it, it occupies this large area where the receptacle used to be. And the receptacle no longer exists. Let's remove this. Um, the way you can remove receptacles. So, first of all, receptacles, as I said, are the same as uh, other windows. So now I have two receptacles. It's one over here. And then the other one is over here. So if I want to remove a receptacle, 
it's you press super and N and then the letter Q which kills the receptacle, the last receptacle and you do that again and you remove it. If you insert receptacles and you have a focused window here and you say move this uh, window to the position of the last receptacle it effectively does the same thing technically it does not delete the receptacle it just moves uh, the, the geometry of the focused uh, window to the adjacent uh, receptacle the last adjacent receptacle so in effect it's the same as deleting it though technically uh, you arrive at the same end uh, through a different uh, means through different means um, so the way I have written the script that helps me with the receptacle, by the way, I might uh, still uh, improve this further because uh, I have only just now started um, leveraging this feature. I have only now started experimenting with it. And I think there are uh, some areas that could be improved further, um, especially when moving across desktops or maybe when uh, we could have some custom rules uh, by using uh, BSPWMs, uh, perhaps this is uh, I have to check this, but perhaps by using BSPWMs uh, subscribe command and uh, see what we can do without all sorts of custom rules. But let's stick to what we have now, the, the more simplistic stuff of just moving windows around. So um, this, uh, this uh, shell script I have, this uh, bash script I have, it will check if the focus, if the node, if there is a marked node, because marked nodes in this uh, script take precedence over the focused node. In the example I showed you before with the marked node, let me show it to you again. Um, let's let's show it here. So this specific one here is a marked node. Uh, you can see that I have it marked over there. And this one has focus. So if I press the key now to send to the receptacle, it will send the marked one. You see, the marked one went there and it's still focused. Let's remove the focus from that one and let's create a receptacle somewhere here. So let's move now the focused one, this one to the receptacle. You see? So if there is a marked uh, window, the marked window takes precedence Otherwise, the focused uh, window shall be used. Now, what happens if, if there is no receptacle? The script will uh, have it here. Check if there is a receptacle. And if there is no receptacle, use uh, the available pre-selection, the, the newest uh, pre-selection, the last available pre-selection. A pre-selection is this thing here, the, mark, uh, the manual tiling mode which you can of course uh, set the ratio. I have another um, video on the basic motions of BSPWM. So let's say I have, let's create some windows again. And let's say I want to move this one here. I want to move it to that position over there. I use the same key again. That's the, that's the beauty of this uh, script. I am always using the same key and uh, the rules that are in the script define what is about to happen. So I press super and the letter N and then I release super and I press I. Oops, sorry, I, I did it too slowly. Super N and the letter I and it moves from its position to the available pre-selection. Let's do it again so that you can see. This thing here at the top, move it to the green area. Here it is. And the, this way, this is a very powerful feature uh, provided you want to do things manually. There are cases where you want to place windows next to each other or maybe you have um, a window on a different desktop and you want to bring it exactly in a specific uh, location. This is how you would do it. Um, and basically that's all there is to it. It's, there's uh, not much to talk about. Um, I'm not sure if, uh, if I found this specifically useful uh, for my use case because I generally do not spawn too many w terminal windows because as you can see here I am using Tmux and uh, Tmux is the only terminal I actually need uh, and the rest are graphical applications or um, uh, applications that uh, I work uh, opportunistically on for a few minutes and uh, maximum and then go back to Tmux. In that sense, I don't really need uh, all this uh, manual placement and these uh, elaborate uh, tree structures and stuff like that. 
but still I think it's a very useful feature uh, that can come in handy under specific uh, circumstances or given a certain uh, workflow. Anyhow, this is uh, all part of my dot files and um, I will just, maybe I have it already here, yeah. So I have it already here. My dot files are available on gitlab.com forward slash protosilos forward slash dot files. And as I said, there is still uh, more work to be done. I want to see how I can combine all this with BSPWM's uh, subscribe uh, command, maybe also with external rules. I, I am not really sure. I just have lots of ideas, but I need to put them uh, to the test. Thank you very much for your attention. Goodbye, folks.